Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where we are currently celebrating Mia! Mia, I'm so proud of you! Because not only has Mia gone ahead, and not only has she unlocked the spindly achievement, so that now we only have a couple mystery achievements left to work on for our dog breeding, but she also has dug up some flowers! You guys, we have more golden lupine flowers, and what better way- oh, thank you, Mia. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead you know what sometimes you have to poop sometimes you have to sneeze it's just the way things work dog are you stuck you are stuck let's pull you out there but what better way to celebrate having reached these fantastic achievements than by going ahead and planting some flowers and since Mia dug up some golden lupine flowers I figured why not go ahead and plant them right in there how lovely is that I would also like to plant a real tree in here which I think we can go ahead and do now since since the giraffe dogs get to be freed since we have achieved the achievement of getting spindly dogs let me see if we can find it oh look at all the achievements we've done oh i'm so proud but we have achieved the spindly achievement hatching or mutating a dog with a very long legs so we can actually go ahead and free the giraffe dogs they don't need to be isolated like they are anymore because we don't need to work specifically on those genes unless we want to and I think that it'd be really nice just to let everybody kind of roam around together now because we're really getting to the point where it is a lot of fun just to see where the randomness of the genetics takes us. So we're going to we're going to let everybody free. And I actually want to see if I can feed Mia these baby teeth so that hopefully we can go ahead and get her nose to be shiny again because one of the things i loved that she actually inherited from our wonderful mysticorn all that time ago was the fact that she had a very glossy shiny nose so we're going to try to work on that also we'll praise her because you're using those glossy shiny noses to sneeze mia oh i love her but all right so our giraffe dogs are free they are free to roam they are free to befriend the other dogs and they are free to eat a wide variety of different foods because friends we did the research we gathered around the laboratory i had some of you especially those of you in our patreon discord sit down with me and we went through all the evidence to try to figure out what we needed to do in order to achieve the mystery achievements and uh not to spoil too much cover your ears if you don't want to be spoiled but the answer is we need to start thinking about removing some legs off of our dogs and yes that sounds much darker and more terrifying than it probably should but that is what we're going to be going after is uh trying to get a dog with no legs many of you have suggested some wonderful dogs uh, that you're willing to put forward as a dog that we could hatch but i'm gonna give it just a little bit of trying to see if we can start shrinking down the number of legs we have on our dogs which includes needing to shift gears on what we are breeding for for a little bit and let me check to see, because I think, like, right over here, three legs! Three legs on this puppers! I knew that we do have some dogs where the legs were starting to disappear. Okay, definitely not this puppers right here. We have three legs on this pixel puppy. And then, maybe that's the thing. The pixel puppies might come back because they won't have any legs. Oh! It's a little eggplant. Oh, I love the little eggplant. Oh, and it's one of Mia's sisters. Oh, I love all those shiny noses. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah, we've got lots and lots and lots of legs on all of these dogs. So that won't do. But we do have a puppers who does not have very many legs. So we might actually go ahead and hatch them. Oh my word. I, I thought the pixel puppies got even smaller for a second there and it, it was a little alarming. Ah! Okay, let's back up. All right. Where is my three leg dog? So we're gonna go ahead and incubate the three-legged dog that we have as soon as I can find them again. Where did I just, I just had that dog. There's our, there's you, there's you, there's you. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We have so many cute puppers, I can't wait to hatch. All right, where, oh where did our, was it this one? Yes, it's you! Okay, so this is one of our three-legged dogs. So, no, four legs! Oh, there's actually four legs on this puppers. Huh, but two of those legs are doubles. So we're gonna actually try this. We're gonna try to get our dog with no legs bred up in our groups ourselves, and we'll see how that works out for us. 
And if it just doesn't work out for some reason or another, let me move that moon boat, boat, uh, moon boot out of the way. There we go. Uh, if it just doesn't work out for some reason or another, then we'll go ahead and we will actually invite in some more of your guys' dogs to help us with that very fancy achievement. But all right, let's also clean this place up for just a second. I hesitate to hatch. I thought I saw a spot that needed, like, cleaned. It's hard to see through all of the grain and grass, but I'm not going to complain too much about that. Uh, but let's go ahead and hatch all these guys. And we're going to need to figure out what we want our garden dog breeding experiments to become. And Big Potato, you're a young adult now. Oh, you're really getting bigger. Look at you. I really like the colorations. And look, Big Potato got long legs because Big Potato spent a lot of their time sneaking into the giraffe den and eating all of the giraffe's nutritional pellets. Big Potato, I swear, you just crack me up. All right, let's go ahead and hatch little Karabi now. Our three-eyed dog, who is, or I should say our six-eyed dog, who has been doing very good at just being a good puppers. It looks like their legs have gotten a little shorter. Their snout length has gone up a little bit. Snout rotation has increased. Snout rotation is something I want to work on with our goth dogs, actually. So I, I should check out, like, what we need to do for snout rotation in just a second. Oh, look at Robbie. You wanted to eat? Yeah, okay, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, Mia! It's another one of these baby teeth. Eat it! Eat it, Mia! Good job! All right, and then Sprouts is ready to hatch, too. And poor Sprouts is a garden dog we haven't really gotten to give a ton of attention to. But I do love, because look at how cute they are! Oh, and keeping that really unique pattern going. I love our garden dogs, you guys. I kind of see that as, like, the future of what we'll end up doing with our wobble dogs, is just breeding up a whole garden of unique-looking dogs. And then, like, sharing those dogs with you guys to adopt. So I'm very excited about that. All right, Mia is happy to be wandering free. And then let's hatch, oh, <gasps> Doggo! Oh my goodness, Doggo, not much time left with you, my friend, what? You've been such a good giraffe dog, you really have. Oh, and Mia's ready to puppate. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm actually gonna check Mia's, so here's my theory. I'm beginning to think that the order that the bacteria are listed when you do these little examinations of their guts. And I kind of love that we're like all clustered around the microscope while we do this, my fellow laboratory assistants. Uh, but I'm beginning to think, and this could be completely wrong, it's just a theory, that maybe the order that they're listed to this little list right here is how strong those genes are. So if that's true, then the theory has it that most likely we should see a longer body and longer legs on Mia and maybe bigger body, white body and glossy sheen. So let's see if that actually is the case when we go ahead and puppet her. And we'll give her some little pets to increase the chance of fancy mutations. Yes. Oh, and there's that spot I need to clean up. I knew it was around here somewhere. Meanwhile, Doggo, you're being adorable. Removing dirt. <gasps> what? What? The puppers can make this place even bigger. What the heck? You guys, good job, puppers. I didn't know that they could even make like this zone even larger. So I'm just gonna keep praising Doggo. This whole time, Doggo didn't want to be a giraffe. He wanted to be a badger and to help out with like cleaning everything out of the way. All right, Mia's ready to hatch. Let's get her out. Oh, <gasps> Mia! Oh, she really did change quite a bit. Oh, she lost some of her pinkness. No. Hopefully now she's an adult. Maybe we can get some of her pups to actually get pink. But her nose went up in glossiness. Yes. So it looks like my theory kind of ends up being thrown literally like right out the window because most of the genes that actually played a part were the genes listed at the very bottom of the list. So never mind. That was just me being a complete silly goose. Also, I feel like Mia's legs have gotten much, much, much longer. Oh my word. I can't wait to figure out who we're going to try to breed her with because that's going to be so much fun. All right, let's clean up this little spot. There we go. 
All right, meanwhile, we do have this little one to hatch now. So let me go ahead and pull up your guys. Amazing comments, I need to find, where did I put it? There's the random comment picker. And we are now going to hatch a new puppers using a name that you guys have actually left in the comments of our previous Wobble Dog adventures. Also, good luck with that little doggo, bye. So let's go ahead and we're gonna welcome in <gasps> Tiny little Liliana! I love that name! Liliana, welcome! Welcome! You have four legs. Our hope is that as you grow, we will either be able to lose those legs through some sort of terrifying random mutation, perhaps, or we might be able to go ahead and uh, breed those legs away. But we'll have to just wait and see at this point. Because we've kind of gone in the opposite direction that the achievement needed. The achievement needs us to have no legs. We happen to have a lot of extra legs. All of our dogs, I think, have extra legs right now. It's a little bit over the top. All right, Little Sprout is the only one who doesn't have extra legs at the moment, at least like just for what we're looking at right here. Oh my word. All right, this is so cute. Meanwhile, let's pop over to our goth dogs. I turn for two seconds, you guys, and there's just chaos. <gasps> Blue blanket flowers. Oh my word. I am planting those over here. I am planting those blue blanket flowers over here because I think Espeon actually actually dug those up for us. Espeon, you good girl! Okay, let's grab Cerebus. Cerebus, we're still trying to get your coat to be black again. Ah, Cerebus! Cerebus, I've disappeared into the void! Okay, there you go, Cerebus. But let's have Cerebus go ahead and eat these ectoplasms. No, don't eat that! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop! Drop! Drop it! All right, eat ectoplasm service. We're trying to make your coat black again. There you go. You can have ectoplasm. There you are. And now you can go ahead and puppy into an adult. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get any more until Doggo unfortunately passes away. We can't get any more ghost out because I think, well, can we? Yeah, we're, we're max dogs right now. All right, meanwhile, which our teen dog is ready to go ahead and puppy as well. Look at all of this ectoplasm. Oh, good job, Leafeon. I'm so, or Espeon. I'm so proud of Espeon. All right, let's have Witch go ahead and eat some of this ectoplasm too. I love the random mutations we might have. We'll give Witch some pets. And then how is Al and Om is doing okay? They're a little hungry, but they're doing all right. I might go ahead and get some more food for them to eat real quick. I think the food we're working on over here is actually the garlic bread, if I remember correctly. So we can have that bigger tail. I don't really want the big nose, but I want the big tail. Is there a, a different way? There's also pancakes, but that makes your dogs very flat. I mean... I guess it wouldn't hurt to try some pancakes for a little while, but really I'm going for the bigger tail and big, big nose I don't mind either. All right, there we go. I would love to get more ectoplasm, but I suppose you can only demand so much of your ghost uh, so often. All right, come on out. Come on out, Alanom. Let's have you go ahead and eat this. Come on. Eat a pancake. We're gonna have you puppy as well. There we go, good job, good job. Our two-headed goth dog. Phew, and milkshake, oh, milkshake. Still feeling a little lonely, are we? Here, I'm gonna give you the pets, there you go. If you would like to eat this baby tooth, I really appreciate how you've like been working very hard at trying to have a, a more glossy coloring. No, no, not the pancake, not the pancake, not the pancake, the garlic bread. Doggo! We're about to lose Doggo, you guys! Oh my goodness! We've not even had a chance to like breed Doggo with anybody. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that in just a second. Oh no! Oh no! Doggo! Doggo! Oh no! I thought we would have like one more second! But it was the end! The end of Doggo and actually, oh Mia! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, your companion! Your companion is gone, Mia! Oh my word. Oh wow. And Mia's like over here. How's little Liana is just like struggle busting right now. 
Hang on, Liliana. Here, do you want do you want some like excellent cool pattern? <gasps> Ooh, we should put down just a whole bunch of corn and a whole bunch of uh, like honey to be able to celebrate all of the really intense cool patterns the puppies might have. I would love that. But I'm so sorry, Doggo. Doggo has now left us friends. Oh heck, and I need to like pile up the food over here too. I think that we don't have enough like random food for our dogs to eat, so it might be time to like have just a, a food rain down from the sky all over the place. My goodness. All right, milkshake, you also, oh, milkshake. Okay, milkshake's taking a nap. I'm gonna let them go ahead and rest. Oh my gosh, they slept with garlic bread in their mouth. Milkshake, you're adorable. Phew! But all right, guys, there we go. So now it's the goth dog's turn to go ahead and be ready for a puppation. We're also going to call forth our girl, Espion, to continue working on creating more ectoplasm to be able to share with everyone. And I think it's actually gonna be time to go ahead and like rain food down on the sky all around here because we need to have more food options and i would actually really really love oh let's plant the tree let's plant the tree where's my tree yes i would really really love to be able just to see like more gardens more thriving of all of our puppers and uh, actually more of your guys dogs to come in and start becoming members of our pan like little pack family so i need to think about that do i want the ectoplasm we might pick a dog who we probably won't breed for a little while and put them to the side. Oh, 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 good job, big potato. Well, then you ate it. Well, yeah, you were trying to remove things. Well, it makes sense if a potato eats dirt. I'm, I'm just gonna leave that there. But yeah, I do wanna start adding in some of your guys' dogs soon so that we can really start having big random mutations. So we might make some choices among the goth dogs about who might go into stasis like a vampire for a little while and who might stick around for breeding very soon. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for oh, Mia and Liliana our new little puppers and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye